Hey, Al! Well, that's the name of the story. There's a mop and a bucket. Hey, Al! And some birds. Al, a nice man, a quiet man, a janitor, lived in one room on the west side with his faithful dog, Eddie. They ate together, they worked together, they watched TV together. What could be bad? Plenty. Look at this dump, Eddie growled. We can't have a house, a little backyard, to run around in for a change? Oh, sure, snapped Al. Today it's a house you want. Tomorrow, who knows, maybe the moon. The moon? The moon? Eddie howled. Pigeons live better than us. No, life wasn't easy for Al and Eddie. They were always working, always struggling. It was always something. One morning, while Al was shaving, a voice called to him. Hey, Al! It said. Al turned and saw a bird. A large bird. Al! said the bird. Are you working too hard? Still struggling and going nowhere? Hmm. Listen. I have I got a place for you. No worries, no cares. It's terrific. Huh? Al said he was confused. Al, Al, Al! You need a change tomorrow. Come and be my guest. Eddie, too. You'll see. You'll love it. Then, with a few flaps, the bird was gone. You can imagine that evening's conversation. Eddie was already packing. What? J just quit my job, Al said? There's more to life than mops and pails, Eddie insisted, but that's it. We're going. I don't want to hear another word. At dawn, they were both in the bathroom waiting. A large bird appeared, and Al and Eddie were ferried thousands of feet upward to an island in the sky. Unbelievable lush trees, rolling hills, gorgeous grass. Birds flitted to and fro, waterfalls cascaded into shimmering pools. Would you look at all this, Eddie said. Wow, said Al. Look at all those birds. So many birds. Birds sang and brought them food. They ate, they drank, they swam, they sunbathed. They never had it so good. So, Al, is this so terrible? The large bird asked. What a life, Al cooled. A guy could live like this forever. The days passed blissfully as memories of their old life slowly faded away. Al and Eddie decided that this was ecstasy. But ripe fruit soon spoils. One morning, Al woke up and shrieked, Eddie, look at us, we're turning into birds. Indeed, their eyes were a little beady, their noses a bit beak-like. We've got to get out of here, he croaked, wings sprouted, tail feathers plumed. 
None of the birds are looking at them. It's like they don't want to look at them. They're all looking away. Uh-oh, this is kind of scary. Take us back! Take us back, Eddie quacked. I don't want to be a bird. I'd rather mop floors, he honked as they both flapped furiously and rose into the air. Eddie, be careful, follow me, Al squawked. But Eddie, in a frenzy, was flying in circles higher and higher. Exhausted, straining to stay aloft, he plunged into the open sea and was gone. Al barely made it home in one piece. Alone, without his friend, he was heartbroken. But fortunately, Eddie was a talented swimmer, and in no time he found his way back to the west side. Eddie, Al cried, oh, Al. Paradise lost is sometimes heaven found. I'm gonna fix up the apartment. And that's the end. And there are the birds getting off the elevator. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed it. Good night.